Friends, it's uh, Mike here. Today we're going to talk about TCOM integration to all of the EasyIO products. TCOM behaves very similar to the Niagara network, just like you communicate between a supervisor and um, a JACE. You use the proprietary Fox, um, otherwise known as Niagara network driver, which is fine. We do the same thing. If you don't have a JACE, you can go directly from your supervisor to multiple EasyIO controllers, all talking peer-to-peer. -peer. With BACnet, my, uh, client and server running at the same time, you can also bring that up into Niagara in the same way that you would a JACE. So I've got the station running, and I'm going to take you through this without using a controller. I don't even have a controller, a real controller. I'm actually using the app tool, which is here. It's running. I've got a TCOM test here. So you can do this yourself. Um, with Niagara 4 or AX. Um, now, you know the training documents I normally hand out. Um, normally, this is the, um, if you were to go into this one, normally, the, this is why I hand out at the training. You see, we've got Niagara 4 here. So you've got the versions, all your jars are in there, your kits, the document. It's written by Max Line. It is um, licensed, but very easy and very cost effective. So let's do this. Let's. Um, Let's go into config now, and you will see we've got the um, got the Niagara network, which we always have by default. Create create new, or select new. Go down, select TCOM, which is here. Press OK. In it comes. It's super fast. It brings everything in, and as I say, you can still run all those other services at the same time. So in it comes straight away. There's our TCOM device from our virtual controller. Bring that in. And you'll see there's three icons. This first icon here is to discover points. The second one, this one here, is for schedules. And the third one here is for histories. So what we're going to do is we're just going to discover the points. Um, and what we'll do is go into the schedule in the FG. Let's just open it in CPT. Remember, this is a virtual FG. And if we go to the schedule object, you see we don't have anything in it. Let's say for Saturday, we're going to make that 0700 to 2000. You'll see we have that time in there. And if I was to go and discover the um, the points in the TCOM, let's just do that. And here they are. Just hit discover and everything comes straight in. Super fast, super efficient. And what you would, ex only the best you would expect from, uh, from EasyIO here. Okay, Saturday schedule, if I just bring that in, just press add, pop that in, see there's the time. So I could change it from here as well, say action set and make it now 1000 to 2100. And this is what I call very tight integration. So if you now go back to the CPT, you will see the schedule has changed there. And if I change it here now, make that say 0800. You will see it also change on the Niagara side in TCOM. And you will see it change here to um, 08, so that we just did. Now, of course, what we want to do, though, is now go to our master schedule um, that would be running in the supervisor, just like you do with JACES. So, firstly, what I need to do is just drop in a Boolean schedule that I'm going to use as my master. Do it again into there and there it is okay beautiful open it up you'll see it's all empty now that's not going to impact the controller yet because we need to learn bring in the calendar um sorry the calendar schedule here so just do discover in that comes just drag that in now this time we're going to link it to the schedule i've just put in there and we're going to put an interval of say five seconds because i want to be able to show you very quickly how this changes so of course, once I press OK, you would expect the service to synchronize, which you just did there within five seconds. So if we go to the schedule now, because we have nothing set, I would expect that time I put in earlier to have gone, and it has that Saturday schedule I put in. Let's try and put it in again. 0800 to 1200, and it will only last. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake there. It will only last for about five seconds because the master is running in the supervisor. So just wait five seconds and it will disappear. And there it does. 
Now go into the supervisor, just put some times in, say for the Saturday here, press save, go back to here, and you'll see it come back in here. There it is. How, how good is that? I mean, how smooth is that for integration? Now, of course, the next part is histories. So in this virtual controller, I'm using PStore. You can actually run that in the virtual, um, and I've just got a ramp here running into these two. So I've got one called Mike 2 and Mike 21. So just go back to the TCOM driver. This time, hit this third icon here. I'm just moving the mouse over it now. Click on that and do a discover. And guess what? The history's come in. There's Mike 2. Let's just bring Mike 2 in here. And this time, I'm going to integrate this again to a very tight time. And I already have histories in the controller under the P-Store from previous demos. <coughs> so it will bring that into Niagara as well. It will synchronize all the histories as you would expect it to. And there it is, it just synchronized. So now if I go under histories, you will see I have a controller called um, TCOM integrated. So easy IOFG, Mike 2. And that's all the data, it's just brought all that in. And that's pretty cool, I think. I think that is really quite amazing. So the good news is, um, this really is, in my view, the only way to do Edge. Edge with a plant controller, fully standalone, um, with a built-in beast under the hood, as you would expect from us. Um, so stay tuned. We've got some really cool stuff coming out in the new year with the Wi-Fi mesh. So you can have wireless networks for your rooftop units, all talking to each other peer-to-peer -peer with the one millisecond turnaround. Live wire sheets to your rooftops and TCOM all integrated over Wi-Fi plus BACnet. So how, you know, just stay tuned and um, we'll look after you. Okay, thanks very much.